Before we get started, before we hop right into the episode, today's video is actually sponsored by Insta AM. Insta AM is a clothing brand. I actually dropped a few previews on my Instagram, which if you aren't following, just down there, Snapchat down there. But I feel their brand ethos really resonates with some of the ideas on this channel. So if you can't wait to see all of the review of all of the clothing that I do later on in the video, you can go and click the first link in the description below, check out the website, and you actually get 10% off using that link. Anyway, on with the video. Let's smash it. This week, as with many others recently, haven't really been great. To be honest, they haven't been as good as I've hoped and as good as I want to be giving you. Because obviously I want this channel, I want to inspire you. I want to be doing good for you, but I found it hard to do it for myself this week. Not gonna lie. This is mock week for us. I had a mock every single day that I was doing at home and I had to revise all of those. But I just wasn't really prepared to take those mocks. I ended up doing them, but they've just been hugely stressful and I've actually got two more to do today, which is fun. Very fun. Today's a Friday. So yeah, I got two more to do before the weekend and then I hope you can actually hear me with these airpods. My phone's gonna fall. I've got paperwork tomorrow and making this video on Sunday. But I've also got some good content that I've been working on for kind of like the last two weeks coming next week. And I'm really, really hoping that that's just gonna happen. Oh my God. That was fun. Just completely threw itself off the uh mate my phone literally embodies my energy right now just throwing itself off of it <laughs> okay there we go Oof. yeah basically the week hasn't been great i have still been getting up and doing this hour hour every single morning and that's been the highlight of my day i can't lie it's just kind of put me in a much better frame of mind whenever i come into the day it hasn't been enough to propel me to do everything that I need to do. Like I've got most of it done, but not, but just not to the standard that I usually want to do it to. You know me, you know my channel. I'm about doing the best that we possibly can. And I haven't been able to do that this week. I usually revise loads of marks and usually prepared, but these marks are something about them. They're not actually counting towards anything. They're just kind of showing progress, but still is peak. Um, now we could just keep going like this and not doing stuff, or we could keep trying to push back. Like I said before, with that motivational momentum, once you get the ball moving, it's easier to keep moving. Once it's moving in the opposite direction, you've got to slow that progression because otherwise that's just going to spiral out of control that's another thing that i do with these videos and with the power and stuff like that it's fighting that spiral backwards because with this lockdown with everything that's going on we're coming out of that now but we need to fight off until we're back and we can get that routine get that energy going again and doing stuff that's going to push ourselves into a better state yeah i feel like this is a lot of chat and not much doing i know but i'm getting it off my chest and hopefully it's going to be some resonant points for you guys there's just not enough dynamic to the day there's not enough variation you're not kind of changing your environment often and that's pretty critical humans need as a species changes they need <coughs> for God's sake. they need variability in their day and they need autonomy and the freedom to do the things that they want to do on a day-to-day -day basis and given that's been taken away from us it's hard to remain as on track and on top of things as we usually would that's pretty much it but just as a quick update videos that i've got coming soon i've got a banger coming next week i've obviously got this series and i'm going to be doing a day in the life at sick form once we're back and just kind of going over everything i'll do on a day-to-day -day basis but from this video what you can expect is pretty much i'm going through all of my mocks i'm showing you how i make my cue cards because a lot of you requested that i've also got a workout of course it's the arm day again and yeah just trying to get as much as possible done before the weekend but i'm hoping recording myself helps me to be a bit more motivated and feel good so yeah anyway i'm gonna down this the rest of this coffee on the walk home i'm gonna walk home and then we'll crack on with it i've got to finish this power hour so another 10 minutes of exercise just walking home then 20 minutes of contemplative thoughts so that's like the meditation that we went over in the last one last episode of the series the meditation the journaling and like gratitude and then the mind valley course so i'll do that we'll crack on with it and then mock time yeah this seems to be my spot at the moment my kind of contemplative spot just on the top of a car park yeah it's just a good place even when it's cloudy you can see everything it gives you a bit of a, a boost of something a boost of something yeah Nice.
Okay, so time is now 12.30. I finished that chemistry mark and I've just spent the last half an hour practicing some guitar, which is actually going to be in the next video. Now, if you can guess the song from these four chords, I'll be amazed. But the guitar is actually going to be the kind of like the backing and the piano is going to kind of take the limelight. So I'm going to go downstairs and practice the piano in a minute. But here is the guitar chords. See if you can guess the song. I genuinely doubt you'll be able to, but... That's the first one. That's the second one, although played very badly. Hold on, let me play that one again. Third one. Ah, and then fourth chord. That's fourth chord, yeah. All right, I'm gonna practice the piano then, and then we'll get back to the maths mark. Let's go. Yeah, I might want to walk around because what I usually find happens is around lunchtime, energy just drops. So after kind of I've had my lunch, I go upstairs, I lie down, I kind of do a bit of research on like unis and stuff. They kind of assess what I want to do, but then my energy crashes. So I go on a walk or something like this with a coffee, green tea, something with a bit of caffeine in, and just try and energize myself to hit the next period of work. And usually it works quite well. So after this, I'm going home and I'm smashing out my maths mark before, before my workout. Yeah, but I've just been looking at unis and stuff, and I don't know why, but I found Recently, I'm kind of I'm losing a bit of that passion for like the subjects that I study, and um, obviously I've applied for Mechanics, and I think it'll be great. But given that we've had so little experience this year uh, with what we would usually have, I find I feel like I'm kind of missing some of the best it is. That's not good, and it's not a good mindset to have when you're going into study, which is obviously the argument for a gap year, because then you can go out, you can have experiences, you can travel, and you can do things to help make you feel kind of overall more fulfilled and happier before you come in to study with like your full focus, if that makes sense. So that's an argument for a gap year. Uh, I guess it will see over kind of the next six months or so how everything plays out and whether or not that mindset still sticks. But say I was going into study right now, at this current point in time, I would not be in the right headspace and the right mindset to be able to do the best I could. So yeah, that's just a quick thought. Just wanted to get out of my chest. We'll carry on with the walk, then we'll have the mark. Let's go. Okay, so today is the next day. Now it's currently lunchtime. Got my food, made myself a little coffee and stuff. But if I'm being honest, yesterday night didn't really go um, anywhere near as good as I liked it to. So I obviously did the mock, but the mock was extremely just awful, <laughs> if quite frankly. Uh, I don't think I'm quite prepared enough for the further maths course because what I'd done is I prioritized the A level maths because that's what I actually need for uni and stuff. And I'd done all of my revision, made all of my resources for that, done it all for physics as well. And done it for chemistry but the further maths I stepped quite far behind just because of like time and balancing it with everything else so over the next kind of months or few months I'm gonna have to take a bit of a shift and make sure I get all of those done but I'm definitely done with lockdown <laughs> and done with working out uh, just doing all my work at home it can be so tedious and just long so when then we go back to sick form which is in three days we go back on the Tuesday I've got my COVID test on the Monday I'm gonna be staying behind at school each day for a couple of hours and just doing all of the work and the revision that I need to catch up on there to kind of, yeah, get me back to where I need to be. Because when I'm at school, obviously there's so many so many less distractions and things that I need to be doing. So my focus is purely on the work and I just get it done. So I'm gonna be doing that and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be staying behind for however long it takes to be all caught up again. And I'd recommend doing the same for any of you that are feeling like you're behind. Because obviously the mocks we're gonna be doing at school, if you are doing mocks, they're gonna be pretty important. They're basically like the actual exams because you need the evidence for the grade. So you're gonna have to put the work in. So I recommend if you are behind, that's a good chance to catch up. Just stay behind at school and just get everything done. Yeah, easy. But anyway, the reason I'm stood up and not sat down like usual is I just got this package in the mail. 
big hefty package and this clothing brand called Into the AM. They sent me all of these clothes and just to give kind of like my honest review off. Now obviously I um, don't promote things and stuff that I don't think are gonna be useful and I don't think are gonna be something that you guys are gonna be interested in. But this clothing brand is something that I feel like really resonates with this channel. Um, it's called the Into the AM. It's about getting up early and living a passionate lifestyle and kind of doing all of the things you're passionate about and you enjoy doing. So that's kind of where their brand ethos sits with this channel and how it kind of resonates. We've got a couple of designs of t-shirts. We've got a, a hoodie and some boxes. So I'm gonna try all of those on. I'm gonna give you a little, little demonstration, a little bit of a review. Okay, so this is the t-shirt. Now I'm a big fan of this because I like the minimalist clothes. I like things with just like small, simple logos. They always just bang to be honest. It's got a nice casual tag on it. That's always a bonus. Right, let's get some more light in here. So this is their basic tees. I think these are actually the cheapest tees they do. And honestly, the fit on that is nice. So this is a medium and it's it's decent fitting, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of a bit more muscle fit and I like that. Good colour, minimalistic. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Nice fit around the arms, rest quite high up, I quite like that. And then just the casual into the AM logo there. I think that works really well. So let's get on to the more graphic tees. So this is the next one, they call this the Universal Love Glow in the Dark tee. A nice kind of graphic, uh, Spaceman on the front. You've got a kind of a navy tee, you've got the into the AM logo on the back. That's always a nice touch. And then of course we've got the, uh, the sticker tags on the side. Now I quite like that they get those stickers. It's almost kind of like you've got that apple feel, you know, when you get like stickers in the box. Um, it's a bit like that. You just peel that off, that peels off, then you got a sticker. Right, okay, I'm going to do a somewhat, hopefully smooth transition to get the top one. So, let's try something. Never actually done one of these before. Nice! I think it worked, the transition, that's sick. Yes, yeah, so this is the medium again, just similar fit. Got a nice muscle fit on the arms, it sits quite snugly around them. Nice decal, and then of course into the AM logo on the back. I'm a fan of the logo on the back to be fair. Yeah, to be fair, it's a bit different to my usual wardrobe and what I'd usually wear, but... I actually really like it. Now I'm currently sat here editing in it, and it just feels really nice. It's a good material, and the bold colours are kind of growing on me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, you can see, bit of inception, I'm actually editing the video as you've seen. So we're gonna go back into it now, you ready? Let's go. Yeah, you have to let me know what you guys think. Right, and then this is quite similar to this top. It's something that I wouldn't usually wear, but you never know. It might be good. It might make a change. Sort this camera angle out because this is appalling, quite frankly. Right, I'm going to try. I, I don't know. I need some other transition to wipe this on. I'm trying to think what I can do for this one. Uh, okay, I'm going to try this. this. This could go horribly wrong and just not work as a transition at all. We've got the hood here. Yeah. This is the Astro Reaper pullover hoodie in large. I'm more medium in t-shirts because I like the muscle fit, but then the hoodies, I do like the large. I rate it. Hold on, let me move this back so you can actually see the full, full hoodie, full look. So yeah, this is it. Can't lie, the feel and the fit is really nice. It's kind of more of a warm hoodie and I like the length in the arms. You've got that kind of more, I want to say awesome vibe, if you know what I mean. But then it's also something you can just rock out with in the summer. When you get a bit overcast, wrap this on, protects you from that typical British weather. Yeah, I rate the into the AM across the arm. That's a, that's a nice little touch. Just casual black hoodie on the back. Got that with a decal on the front. So on the side here, you've got the little into the AM logo. That's a nice little touch. And honestly, this is probably the highest quality piece so far. It just feels nice, feels good. And you've obviously got these ones for the t-shirts, these stickers, but then you've got this one, just quite snazzy for the, for the hoodie. And you know what? Okay, this is where it's going. This is where it's going. I'm gonna whack the sticker up just here. That ASMR. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. There we go. That looks quite snazzy. There we have it, the into the AM. Okay, I'm gonna be wearing this kind of over the next week or so to give like a full impression. Test the wear, test all of that, and to make sure it's something that I wanna recommend fully. But so far, I like the brand Ethos. It's got ideas that really resonate with our channel. Getting up early, staying dedicated, staying passionate about the things you enjoy. It is that idea of wearable motivation. So, so far, so good. Um, I think my favorite t-shirt is probably just the minimalistic. One with a small logo, so the basic tee. That's this one, cheeky one. And then the hoodie, all right, all right. But if you do want to check them out for yourself, you can head down to the link in the description below. You can actually get 10% off if you lose that code. It's taking on 2021, yeah. I wanted it to be a bit personal to this series. Right, it's now the evening. I've just finished all of my paperwork and all of that. So I'm gonna crack on with some chemistry cue cards to get all of that done. And then I'm gonna show you how I write all of my cue cards. Nice, let's go.
Okay, I just want to take this moment quickly just to show you how I write my cue cards because a lot of people have been asking how I actually write them. Now, I'll make a full video on this eventually, but to be honest, it's not too, like, a difficult concept to understand. So we're going to take this as an example. We're going to look at halogen carriers and how they help to make good electrophiles. So at the basic level, most um, electrophiles aren't strong enough to attack benzene's delocalized ring. So I give that as a bit of background information and I'll just write that at the top as just a general statement saying that most electrophiles files aren't good enough. And then it will be followed with the question, what is the role of halogen carriers? Or what are halogen carriers and their role? And on the back of the cue card, I'll write what they are and then how they help to address that initial statement. So usually I'll either just have a question with like a definition or um, a piece of information that I need to memorize and then the answer on the back. But if it needs any background information, I'll just write that at the top. Like for example, this one where it says, arenes don't undergo electrophilic addition reactions as you would expect. They undergo electrophilic substitution. What is the general mechanism? and I've got the mechanism on the back and a bit of stuff explaining that. So I'm going to write this cue card and then I'll show you how it looks after. Let's go. Okay, so this cue card is actually quite a packed cue card, but I'll run you through it quickly. So at the top, you've obviously got the title. I sometimes include titles, but more often than not, I don't just because it takes more time. And then I've got the background information, which says that the spread out charge in benzene's ring of delocalized electrons means that most molecules aren't polarized enough to attack. So then I lead to the question, what are halogen carriers and their role? So obviously the background information kind of leads into the question, so it gives you a little hint. And then I've given examples of halogen carriers, just because I don't think Think it would be fair to include the, that on the back of the card when that the only question is what are halogens carriers and their role so I've given the examples underneath so I can just look at those before I answer the question but also in an exam you're likely to be given an example and be asked what that is so it might ask you what an aluminium halide is and then you'd be able to say well it's a halogen carrier just because you've got that information on the front but then on the back I answer the question so halogen carriers are catalysts used to make electrophiles stronger by further polarizing molecules so that's kind of what they are and the basics of them but then I go more in depth in a different color and explain how they actually work so I put the it accepts a lone pair of electrons from the halogen of an electrophile causing the molecule to polarize further sometimes even such that a carbocation forms and then kind of a general equation for that so basically I kind of give I answer the question and give the information to do with the question but then I expand further and give like the technical details of that just so I can take my knowledge beyond the initial question so it's kind of active recall and then further the development on that recall so kind of this is almost like a um a pivot so i answer the question and then that leads me to this answer but then from that i can pivot my understanding to this so that when i remember this sentence i kind of automatically begin to remember this and the explanation behind it all yeah it's almost like you've got the question and that basic answer is what you need to remember and then once you remember that it leads to you remembering the other stuff because whenever you're testing yourself on that question you're reading the explanation behind it afterwards so if you can remember that answer you begin to remember the understanding so it's almost like a key and you just need to remember to have the key and that unlocks the further information that you need for the exam if that makes any sense whatsoever yeah and that's how i write cue cards i'll obviously make a full video on it like i said but for now little tied over yeah anyway i need to finish this because i've still got like an hour and a half left to do let's go Okay, it's now Sunday, the day after that, and I am shattered. I've just finished editing this video. Well, almost finished. I've still got a bit to do after I film this, but it's currently about 9 o'clock. And I'm getting up tomorrow morning about 7 to finish a mock that I have to hand in tomorrow when I have my first COVID test for school and go back to school. But yeah, over the last however long it's been, throughout this whole series, we've all stuck with it. We've pushed through the work, we've tried to battle off the growing lack of motivation and it's been getting, or for me anyway particularly, motivation started bad, we built it up again and we've just been trying to hold that but it's slowly been declining and this week, uh, yeah, the lockdown, I'm just done with it, I'm bored of it, I've had enough, it broke me and I am fully ready to go back to school and get into a routine again, start getting back to some sense of normality and yeah, hopefully getting back to the mentality I was at probably like well before COVID even started I was in a sound mentality I was smashing everything that I wanted to be doing and it was going good even first lockdown first lockdown was great so yeah we'll be getting back to school we'll be doing all of that and it'll be good but um I'm just hoping that over kind of the next few months and the, the, well, the next six months before we go to uni as I talked about earlier in this episode I want to get that mindset back on track I want to be getting more invested and passionate in my studies and the things that I want to do coming out of city form going to university and all of that like it's to the point where most 
momentarily, for kind of like the last hour, yeah, I've been considering doing business and management instead of engineering, but I won't make that decision. <laughs> I won't do it, but like, I am in such a conflicted mentality at the moment. I need to get back into just out of the house, to be honest, and doing stuff so that I can <laughs> explore those options in more depth and not just explore them in within the limits of my mind, if you get me. Yeah, I'm excited to take you guys with me with this content, with this journey over the next six months. Obviously, the next few months are going to be extremely time consuming because I'm going to be revising a lot for the mocks that I reckon we'll have after Easter. Uh, you guys obviously might not, but my school have said that they're going to be doing mocks and our grades are going to be pretty heavy on that. And I've got a lot of catching up to. Yeah, I've been a bit complacent. I've been focusing more on other things other than study. Now is a turning point. So I'm going to be obviously trying to push out as much content to you as possible if you want to stay up to date on all of that check my community tab so that's actually on my channel but I drop all of the updates on there all of the, the thoughts that are kind of going through my mind uh, how often I'm going to be posting whether new videos are going to be out etc etc at the moment I'm definitely going to be having one more episode of this series episode 10 and that's going to be the day in the life back at sick form and then after that it's kind of up to you guys what you want to see as to whether i carry on this series or i make standalone content i've really enjoyed this series so far but even if we just only do 10 episodes it has been a banger and i've really enjoyed every minute of it the content's been great you guys have been great the support has been immaculate and i love it and i'm hoping we can bring that momentum into whatever content i post in the future but anyway this is it we're going to be pushing forwards we're going to be becoming the best versions of ourselves as always but otherwise i hope you've enjoyed today's video i hope if you if you didn't enjoy it and you aren't subscribed, you subscribe, you drop that like for the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, let's move forward into the rest of this year strong. Let's do it together and let's smash out everything that we want to smash out. See you in the next one. I live inside my own world of make-believe.